Hi there, it's Rose. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I make Christmas tags all year long. And then on the 25th day of every month, I share the Christmas tags that I made for that month. So I'm happy that you're here today because I'm going to show you the Christmas tags that I made for the month of February. Now, before I get started, please be sure to visit my description box so that you can check out the other YouTubers that are joining me in creating tags every month. And please be sure to stop by their channel and give them a like, comment, and uh, we really do appreciate the support. So I'm gonna start out by showing the supplies that I used for my tags for this month. And um, the first thing that I like to show you is the paper that I select. So for this month, it was this Christmas plaids collection from Recollections. Now I've had this for at least a year, maybe two. Um, I believe it also came in a 12 by 12. This is the six by six. Um, and it's just beautiful plaids, um, not just for Christmas, but you can use them for so many other projects as well. Just really uh, a beautiful selection. These are double-sided, which I always love. Some buffalo check. And really the, my focus of my tags for this month was I really was sticking with that sort of farmhouse theme. Here's a beautiful green. Um, and just a really nice selection of plaids in this paper pad. Um, if you do run across it in Michaels, be sure to give it a look in person. I think you'll like it. I'm not sure if they're going to bring it back this year. I think they had it for a couple of years in a row, but um, they've sort of changed their stocking, so I'm not really sure if it will come back. But if it does, check it out. I think you'll be pleased with these. Now, um, for the tags themselves, I used... Also, a tag that I've had in my stash for a while, and it's this one. Now, I picked this up on Amazon a while back, and I cut it out when I got it and was very unhappy with the way that it die cut because of all of these ink, um, little um, intricate pieces along the bottom. It just didn't cut well. Um, I have a manual... Uh, die cut machine. I have one of the original Big Shots that I have had for years. I actually won it from um, a website called Chicken Scratch, a YouTuber, and she's fabulous. And I went from using a cuddle bug to that Big Shot, and I have stayed with it ever since. It's tried and true. I didn't go into electronics. I did go into some manual minis, but I didn't go into any of the electronic machines just because of the expense, and I just really wanted to focus more on some other supplies rather than that. So I stuck with my Big Shot, and I love it. But when I got this die, it just didn't perform, and I was actually almost ready to give up on it and just donate it or discard it because I thought maybe, you know, it's the die. Well, then in rearranging my craft room, I came across my um, precision plate for my Big Shot. And I thought, well, maybe I'll give it a go with this die and it cut perfectly. So I was thrilled. I used this die and then I used one of my uh, favorite die cook cut collection or die tag dies and that is the Sizzix Tim Holtz tag collection so I use the largest one of this as a layering piece. So in addition to these I used some actual little Christmas ornaments. This is from the My Little Christmas collection from Hobby Lobby. Um, this is a set of, of four little mini um, Christmas ornaments that came on this cardboard sheet. Now, when I first went into Hobby Lobby and I saw these little mini ornaments, immediately I thought of my tags. 
and immediately I thought, I, gosh, those are just so cute. I don't do a mini Christmas tree. I've thought about it, but I wanted to get these um, ornaments specifically for tags. So um, those are the supplies that I used. I also used a stamp set from my stash and um, some of my signature um, little rhinestones that I use from Stampin' Up. So let's get into it and I'll show you what I created. So here is a look at my first tag. So um, now you can see that I was really going for that farmhouse theme with these tags this month. And I really do think that I was able to capture that with the paper and that tag die. Um, but best of all, this is that little ornament that was in the set of ornaments from Hobby Lobby. And this one says Noel, and it's a little ring with a wood piece in the center. Um, it came with the buffalo check bow and this little faux greenery. But I just thought, I love the movement on the tag. That was really what I was going for, along with that beautiful Recollections plaid paper. And you can see the way that die cut out. It's so intricate but it really adds a punch, specifically being layered on um, this larger tag, which is from that Tim collection. And then of course I added a few rhinestones there. I just thought they came out adorable. Now the back, I just stamped the very simple, just for you. And of course I can add the to and from as we get closer to Christmas and I know who will be getting this one, but it says Noel, and the ornaments were a set of four different ones. Again, I thought were perfect. This one says Hope, and I used um, sort of uh, different shades of green and um, almost a teal and red in that paper. And again, all the backs are the same. And this one says peace. And again, it's a red with almost a khaki um, check in it. So I love the movement on the tags. And you know, tags are nice for adding to presents, but they're also perfect for tucking into a gift bag um, they're great to give along with a book. Um, you know, you can kind of add it into the book, almost like a bookmark. This one says joy. And again, it's a beautiful green check with um, black in it. I just thought it was really pretty. There's the back on that one. And just the simplicity of the tags and sort of you know, that farmhouse look was exactly what I was going for with these four tags. So it was just perfect that I found these little ornaments that um, really, I think, complemented the design that I was going for. So I hope you enjoy taking a look at what I created for this month. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are first time visiting my channel. Um, I do have playlists from all my past years of creating tags. If you'd like to check those out, this is year number three, so I'm very excited. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.